Agricultural biotechnology is a powerful technology in terms of applying science to solving real world important problems that affect all of us day to day. I am a plant pathologist. I feel it's my job to try to figure out how to control diseases. And I specialize in viruses. The uh, papaya ring spot virus is the most prevalent virus that infects papaya worldwide. And this uh, virus actually was in Hawaii since 1945. It uh, destroyed uh, much of the papaya industry in Oahu. Then in uh, 1992, it entered the uh, Puna district where they raised 95% of the papaya. The fruit gets all gnarly and, and shrunken. It reduces the production of the fruit on the tree, and that's why it causes severe damage. And when you are depending upon that for your income and your family's income, um, you know, many of us cried. The system then was, if you don't want it to infect all your trees, you chop down your trees. And that worked for a while, but the virus just kept on spreading. There was a point there where we, instead of harvesting a million pounds a year, we're down to a couple thousand pounds a year. By 1998, the production of papaya in Pune had gone down 50%. So the impact of the virus was severe. If not for biotechnology, Hawaii's papaya industry would have been nearly destroyed. The uh, story behind the uh, genetically engineered or the rainbow papaya is it represents a case in which scientists and the industry work together. It was just like immunization. One could almost vaccinate uh, papaya and it'll make it resistant. By 1991, we had some small uh, papaya seeds that were genetically engineered or transformed. So we put a field trial out in Rusty Perry's farm. Many of the growers came to look at this field trial. For our farmers, seeing was believing, said, okay, this is really good. The genetically engineered papaya was growing beautiful. The non-genetically engineered was all infected. Oh my gosh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. For us, there was no question. As soon as this commercial seed was going to be available, we were going to plant it. In uh, 2009, Genetically engineered papaya makes up about 80% of Hawaii's papaya production. I think the short answer to what ag biotech did to the papaya industry is it really saved it. Ag biotechnology is important to the world if we're going to address the impacts of sea level rise and overpopulation uh, with respect to food production. And when you start looking at traditional breeding practices, it seems impossible that we could traditionally breed plants to produce the food that the world will need in 20 or 50 years. And we need to start that research now. We can't wait 20, 30 years to begin doing that. Hawaii plays actually a, a fairly large role in the national uh, agricultural system because of our, our sequin industry that right now is very prevalent in Hawaii. Seed companies are actually the largest part of Hawaii agriculture today. So as the seed companies grow, so will Hawaii agriculture. The seed corn industry utilized conventional breeding techniques as well as genetic engineering technology to produce these parent lines here in Hawaii. Soybeans, uh, sunflower, some wheat, some rice, but mainly and primarily seed corn. It's produced here in Hawaii through the research and development stage. It is then sent through all different parts of the world to be used commercially. It started in 61 when I came to the university and picked up the corn breeding program. We had a serious problem of virus that led us to have trials all over the islands, moving from Molokai to Kauai, later to Maui, and back to Oahu. They're here because they can grow 365 days a year. They can grow double the amount of crops they're able to grow anywhere else in the world. The figure was something like 90% uh, of the seed corn grown in the United States at some point originates from Hawaii. For biofuels production, all of these things, Hawaii plays a, a large role in providing the seed corn 
for those industries on the mainland. What's different about Hawaii and most tropical environments is there's no winter period that disrupts the cycle of pests and, and diseases. In the tropics in particular, we have a constantly evolving number of viruses, of bacteria, of insects, and you read in the press about things, of course, H1N1 as a, as a simple example of a human virus. But the same thing happens for corn viruses or viruses of soybeans or wheat or potatoes. That poses opportunities for Hawaii seed industry that are really fabulous. The technologies that we develop here in Hawaii with respect to agriculture biotechnology can be exported around the world. We can create the knowledge here through research, through education, and we can export that knowledge to the benefit of our state and the people who live here. The knowledge base has been created here and then the improvements are having an impact all across the planet in terms of the quality of uh, the food, the, the, the actual productivity of the food, resistance to diseases and drought tolerance and those kinds of things.